Join our hosts as they take a closer look at the Young Gulf Shore 24, a unique bay boat designed to provide a versatile fishing platform for charter guides and avid anglers alike. The Young Gulf Shore 24 has an overall length of 24 feet 1 inch, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 350. Engineered with versatility in mind, she has a draft of 11 inches, a dead rise of 14 degrees, a weight of 1,650 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 60 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Today we're looking at a very unique boat, Lori. This is a boat built over in Crystal River, Florida, and it's a guide-specific boat that was built for guides in the central Gulf Coast in Florida. Now, the Gulf Shore 24 by Young is a boat that has really spawned a whole revolution over on the west coast among the fishing guides over there, and there's a reason for it. This is a purpose-built boat. Everything about the boat is unique, and everything is built for a specific reason. We're going to dig in a little bit here and see what those reasons are, but you and I have got a little bit of experience on this boat. So we just came back from Crystal River and got the opportunity to fish on a young boat over there set up just like this and I totally get the concept now of why this design works so well. Okay, we just saw an excellent example of how effective this Young 24 is in a cruising along, along the beach sight fishing venue. We're running the beach, we had the girls up on the bow looking, and we'd seen a couple of big schools of jacks from up here from this elevated vantage point. We were able to get up ahead of the fish and Lori made a perfect cast and we were able to pull a nice jack out of the school. Now, how this boat is effective and why it's effective in doing that is, one, our anglers are in the front, they've got all the room they need to swing a rod around, we're out of their way, we're not in harm's way of the plugs, and two, we're up here a little bit higher and we can see the fish better so we can get us lined up and in a perfect position to make that cast. Now, Lori, you had a perfect vantage point up there on that elevated foredeck as well. Absolutely, I did, George, and not only that, it was so easy to fight the fish because all I had to do was step down and I had this whole area to work that jack and he gave me a run for my money and I didn't have to trip over anything. Wide open space, perfect for coming up here and casting into these fish. Now Jared, you built this boat for yourself and you know this is a totally custom boat and you can build it however you want. I like a few things that you've done with the boat particularly. Everything you need to run the boat is right here. Your anglers can work up in the front, but all of your stuff is here. You've got your electronics, you can run the trolling motor, you can stick the power pole, you've got a nice shade top that you added, which I really appreciate on a day like this. And also that top gives you a bunch of rod holder opportunities. You can put all your rods back here and you can grab a rod if you need to and hand it to one of your anglers up in the front and take a rod from them and put it away and you never have to leave this spot all day. You're out of the way, you're not gonna get a hook in you and uh, this is your spot and the anglers are up there. I really like it. Now another really useful attribute of the Gulf Shore 24 style is the ability to get into really shallow water. Now we fished this boat on the beach and it did really well out there, but something really remarkable is this boat will float and run in a foot of water. And we're here on a place that you'd typically be looking at 16 foot Poland skiffs with two guys on it, only we're on a 24 foot by eight and a half foot wide boat that's big enough for six or eight people to actually stand in, and you can fish three or four people really comfortably in a place that's commonly associated with a polling skiff. Funny you say that, George, because I immediately said, wow, a family of four can actually go on an inshore charter and get into this shallow water? That's pretty fantastic. Now, exactly the way we used it offshore here, the same functionality of this boat is, is that you're standing back in the rear at the helm and you can see everything around you and the helmsman can control everything from back there. We can use the trolling motor to navigate on the flat. If we see something really good we want to stop, we can stick that power pole down. He controls all that from back there. Anglers fishing up in the front. It works the same way in here as it did offshore. Now one very noteworthy attribute of having a boat laid out like the Gulf Shore, specifically having the helm position laid out where it is, is the ride. Moving everybody further back is gonna soften that ride. The helmsman being right in front of the motors has got the softest ride of the whole deal. And moving your passengers just forward of that, everybody's gonna have a much more pleasurable boating experience when the weather gets a little bit choppy. Having these captain chairs positioned like this makes for a completely different ride. I am so much more comfortable in this position. And the best part is, there's enough room up here. If you wanted to add a second row of these captain seats, you could and still have plenty of fishing room. 
The first time I ever saw a boat laid out like the Gulf Shore 24, the first thing that jumped out to me was this boat is so wide open and very clean. And that's a byproduct of the fact that there's not a console sitting in the middle of the deck. There is a lot going on up here. And it starts with the anchor locker. You've got that. Then you've got a huge storage box right here in the center. But this is the best part, large fish box. Now today, obviously, we don't need a large fish box. It's storage. And when I see this, I go, well, that's great. Stepping on a charter boat, the captain's obviously going to have all of his stuff. But you know, families, we bring a lot. Look at all that that you can fit in there. Everything's still out of the way, and you've got plenty of fishing room. Now that fish box is a large space. It's actually 400 quarts, but that's not the end of it. Below the deck on this raised platform, you've got a pair of 25 gallon live wells here. You've also got two 180 quart fish boxes back here. And where I'm standing is bilge access. And the bilge access actually has a lift out liner which you can additionally store other dry items in. And if you need to access the bilge, you just lift that out and there's all your pumps and everything right there, easy to get to. Now, although the Gulf Shore 24 by Young was originally designed with a fishing guide in mind, there's no reason why the recreational angler can't enjoy all of the same concepts and put that to use in their daily fishing activities. This is a boat that was born in Crystal River, Florida, and it's very popular there, but you're going to see this boat spread throughout Florida, West Coast and East Coast, and for good reason. This boat is a really practical inshore and offshore fishing boat for somebody that wants something out of the box.